Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be showing you guys how I made tilapia with atta ding ding, dun dun, and dodo for Kojo Radical on Love at First Bite with BuzzFeed. I picked this dish because being a British born Nigerian Yoruba babe, I wanted to show culture, but I also wanted to give an experience. First things first, go and wash your dirty hand. Yeah, make sure you thoroughly, thorough. Make sure you thorough, 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 thoroughly wash your hands make sure you get into those nail beds you get into those grooves especially for the ladies you know with the acrylics for me moving on i made sure that fishmonger did the dirty work yeah all the guts all the internals i made sure they cleaned that place and obviously as you can see there's still some bits that need to go over like this fin or whatever that is i made sure i cut all of that and i also made sure to descale it again and just make sure that it's spectacular and spotless this next step is very crucial and standard however i've noticed that with seafood the citrus and the acid in the lemon breaks the flesh of the fish so i tend not to use it so much on the inside but more or less on the outside so as you can see here i'm now making slits into the fish on both sides and this is just to allow the aroma the seasoning to enter that fish do you understand as well as give it a nice aesthetic okay this one is the cocoa tobacco cup garlic powder hmm? next one fish seasoning yeah fish seasoning all purpose seasoning i think there should be one not there mm -hmm. that is it that's not chicken nut and chili powder and we're going to mix all of that together with vegetable hoi as a coat for the fish i did not say sunflower i did not say holy for i did not even say rapsi ra rasp rasp well, I got my GCSEs, I have my level at TB Tech, I wore my cap and gown and I walked down the aisle, nobody could ever. Here I'm patting the fish dry because what tends to happen when you season a wet fish is that the seasoning does not stick. I don't know what I was doing here, I was doing rubbish. At this point, eh, use your hands, make sure you get into the groove, you understand? Those slits that I made, make sure you get the seasoning on the inside, yeah? Get inside as i'm showing you people make sure you get in the belly enter that uh -huh, that place the inside make sure you press that place massage that place romance that place Now is to wrap the fish and put it in the fridge to marinate overnight. Okay, moving on. These are the essentials for the atta dindin, which is the sauce, the stew, which we have tatashi, rodo, we have onion, we have gali, all the decoration, all the medemedes. Personally, I like this lazy chopped garlic because we not have no bomba clad time to chop up no fresh garlic. Make sure to deep cleanse your ingredients by soaking your peppers, onions, and scotch bonnets. Here I'm just showing you what needs to be removed prior to blending. So here I'm just chopping the ingredients into bigger chunks to help with the blending process. Hello, pay attention. This one is from, 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 from. It's rough blending, it's fra, fra, not thorough blending or else it will turn into a smooth paste. And that is not what we're trying to achieve. And now I'm draining the blend into a sieve to get rid of all that excess water and this is what your blend should look like it should be bitsy chunky i mean if you people want to do it manually and be choppy choppy chop, that is your business i'm not stopping you people this dish is actually meant to be made with palm horror but it's not everybody's preference so i like to play it safe here i'm just testing the waters before i put the big boy inside it's bubbling bubbling it's so damn bubbling so it's just to let it deep fry and let it cook Okay, this is another cocoa, Maggi. So one Maggi cube, no, chicken, no. Curry goods, I prefer curry goat curry than normal curry. Obviously the garlic powder, all purpose and them things there and the mixed herb and liquid Maggi. Don't forget it, there's cube and there's liquid. Hmm? In my culture, we don't do, <coughs> excuse me. In my culture, we don't do all these uh, measurements. We measure by eye, do you understand? Just use your fucking eyes. Or do as I do, do you understand? Don't do too much. Use the lid, do you understand? To see how much you're putting inside so you don't overdo. Hmm? Fire, 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 fire. 
there we have it obviously there's a lot of oil but we're not going to use the oil i'm just showing you people the final product d-day this is the d-day the love at first bite today guys i've pulled the fridge i said i pulled the fridge i pulled the fish from the fridge gosh english this is the fish and now i'm going to put some of that sauce that i made last night into the belly of the fish do you understand before i now put it inside the oven 30 minutes you see that eh? that sauce eh? oh it was so bad as in i had to clean the spoon just to make sure every speck why because every speck counts so as you can see the foil paper started to fall apart so i needed to double it triple it quadruple it so that everything can lock in do you understand before putting it into the oven At this point, multi wear. Do you understand? Meaning that I bath, bum bum clean, feeling fresh, wearing my little outfit, sir. So here I'm just partially preparing the yam, which I'm going to boil for 10 to 15 minutes and take it with me and fry once I get on set. Make sure to thoroughly wash the yam. Don't be dirty. So here I'm just cutting the yam into strips and I feel like this method is better than just frying the yam off the back because it tends to be a bit tough whereas if you boil it first you get that nice little softness on the inside and then once you fry it gives you that nice little crisp on the outside. Please make sure to add your salt and your sugar. Yes, I said sugar. It's like I keep saying it, don't be dirty. Clean up as you go along, do you understand? Don't be what? Dirty. I'm on the BuzzFeed set, you feel me? And this is what my fish looks like oven. But prior to grilling it, I'm now going to cut some onions, you know, just to give it some decoration, some paparazzi. I don't think there was anything to show here. I was just showing bum bum. I was just showing some ears. Okay, this is the atadindin, which I'm now going to use to smear over the fish and then put the raw onions on top before I put it into the grill, you know, just to give it some decoration, some papa paparazzi. So I just want to correct myself because I did not steam anything. That fish was ovened. Yeah, I was just trying to share. But I want to go over what she said. She said that that fish is smelling good, meaning that they were smelling my fish from outside. Do you understand? They were smelling my fish from the gates. It's giving bum 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 shake. Yes, watch yourself. Shake. Is it watch yourself or watch your step? Sha shake. Yes, watch yourself. Shake your ass. Show me what you're working with. So this is it. Just before it goes into the grill, just to give it, you know, a nice finishing crispy touch. And while that's grilling, I'm going to be frying the plantain. And yes, I gave my plantain a little bit of a rinse. I'm even going to tell you the reason why I even rinsed that sometimes. I'll tell you a story. Shout out to my Ghanaian friend Temper. One day I went to go and visit her house, and mom was making jello fries. I said, okay, Jack can fry plantain. So as I was going in for the plantain, I cut it, I put the salt, and I wanted to put it inside the oil. She said, ha, ah, don't do that. I said, auntie, why? She said, oh, that you can't do that because sometimes the pests can get through the skin into the actual food. So it's good to just always rinse it. I said, okay, no problem. So ever since then, I've been rinsing my plantain. Not that you people care, but I just wanted to share that story. Yeah. So now that the plantain is done, here we have the boiled yam and I'm now going to fry the yam. Yeah. This is actually my first time frying yam, guys. I just thought I should put that out there. I'm not a fan of fried yam. Like, I like boiled yam. I like pounded yam. Sugar. It's like I keep saying it. I keep saying, clean up as you go along. Just checking on my fish there to make sure I didn't fuck up. Do you understand? Because Toba fuck up. Ho, 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 ho. I was just adding more garnish to the fish just to make sure it's really covered and coated. And there we have it. Tilapia with atadindi, a peppered sauce with dundu, fried yam, stat like jenga and dodo fried plantain on the side. Ah! Okay, okay, so it's the same thing again. So do you want to go by your tag or? Yeah, let's go by my tag. Okay, so... Say hi, man. You just say Scotchy, Scotchy. Yeah, I'll be like, hey guys, you got Scotchy. All of East London, filming. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, so yes, do your intro. Just say like two lines about yourself. Yeah. And then just be like, what do you, what, what should he feel when he's what, what should he get about you? Right. Okay. I'm gonna say what my dish is as well. Okay, oh, yeah, sorry. Complete this record dish. Yeah. Dish. And then. Okay. Yeah. So it. start with the intro, and then be like, and I've made today this record dish. Okay. Yeah. Good. Hey guys, you got Scotchy, aka Asarado, filming. Um, today. My dish is grilled tilapia with atatinti, which is like a sauce, like a sauce, chili sauce, with dundun, which is fried yam and dodo fried plantain. And yeah, I just want the wrapper to kind of just 
feel the culture, feel the vibes, feel the, you know, the vibrance, the colours, the, you know, the flavours. And yeah, I just feel like I'm chatting shit. No, <laughs> yeah, I'm chatting <laughs> shit. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, this is your Scotchy, aka Atarazo, filming today. I'm bringing it to the Sagan. Yeah. Pace yeah. yeah. yourself. Don't, you don't have to rush, alright. Hey guys, it's your girl Scotchy, aka Atarazo, filming today. I brought in good tilapia with atadizi, which is like a salsa, like a chili sauce, and dundu, which is fried yam, and dundu, which is fried plantain. I just want this wrapper to kind of just feel the vibe, feel the colors, feel the flavors. I'm a British born Nigerian, I'm Yoruba to be specific, and I just feel like, yeah, we're top tier with it. It's levels to this shit, you <laughs> Natural to the world. <laughs> so if you were to add <laughs> one line, that would so why he should pick you, what would why that line be? Me? Ah yeah. what should that line be? Damn it. Um Scotchy now, like Scotchy, like, I want you to feel the scotch in my food. Actually no. Think about it. That's right. Um it's scotchy and hot like spice. Actually no, hold on. If you want a wife, pick me, I'll spice up your life. Go. If you want a wife. Gosh, you got a lot of editing to do. If you want a wife, pick me, I'll spice up your life. <laughs> Thank you. That was hard. Yeah. I, I, think, like, I think he's going to be I right. think if you like creative men, then he's your type. Girl, not every creative man is good looking. So we need to really <laughs> nail it down to the butt. Is it, is it given like a Stormzy? Is it given like a Heady One? Or is it given like a Jay Huss? Is it given like yeah, a Yeah, I'm going to like you lovely ladies up if that's okay. <laughs> So oh, if you want to oh my god, this is a really nice camera. Thank you, girl. It is. So we on set. Oh, this is a video. Sorry. This is, a video. <laughs> <laughs> this is for my story. I'm like this. This is for my vlog. So we've kind of like wrapped up, guys. She came third. I came second. And I think Kim. Or are you Kim? I'm Kim. <laughs> this guy don't even know my name. We've been locked in for hours. We've been filming for sorry, hours. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> The other girl, Shan. Shan, she came first place. Amazing yeah. dish, colors, vibes. Tilapia. Did she make tilapia? No, she didn't make tilapia. I made tilapia. Oh my gosh, so yeah. Is I made tilapia. Attention? No. Sorry. Yeah. The rapper. The, the rapper, is that <laughs> the my rapper. official name? I love your freestyle, by the way. Thank you. What is it? Is it? <sighs> Shit, I need to get it right. <sighs> I don't know. Which one? What? What is it a freestyle on? Freestyle, that it's got like two parts to it. It was probably, it might be the HB. It's the HB, yeah, the HB freestyle. Oh, thank you. Thank you. thank you. That's a mill. A mill's done, um, he done a lot of with nuts and okay, and Amanda, yeah. I love it. I'm still learning the lyrics though because I chop okay. mouth, like I chop mouth the lyrics. I'm really good with oh, that's okay. yeah, but other than that, I'm, I'm working on the next one now. I literally came from the album, okay, camp, yeah, from the second album. I love that, yeah, love that, videos. and yeah, just keep up with the good work. I will. We'll do one all together and then I'll get um, Korean to do one as well. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Lovely, lovely. Is this the wives? I told you. <laughs> this is the wife. I keep hearing it. Like, right, I'm just like, I just like fun shit like this where you can just show your 